Hi folks, Gavin here from Player TV, and today I'm going to be taking a look at the latest Z270 motherboard from MSI. This is the Gaming M7, which is their flagship gaming board. It has a lot of features, has plenty going for it, but is this the right motherboard for you? Let's find out now in our video review. So, today we've got the MSI Z270 Gaming M7 and as I mentioned in the introduction this is the flagship gaming board from MSI um, on the new Intel Kaby Lake um, socket LGA1151 um, Z270 chipset. It's got a lot um, a lot on the board itself going for it. It is a full size ATX board um, and it supports Intel's 7th generation Kaby Lake processors. It also supports um, backwards compatibility with Intel's 6th um, generation Skylake. So as you can see, the board itself is pretty, pretty packed. Um, it's got some very nice features, the likes of the MSI steel armor on the memory around the DIMM slots, um, which not only looks fantastic, it reinforces the memory slots um, helps prevent damage as well and bits getting bits of um, foreign objects getting stuck in between these slots. We also have three PCI um, Express Time 16 lanes. This, these also feature MSI steel armor, um, which is nice to see that they've even included the steel armor on the bottom one. It also features three um, times one PCI um, E lanes as well. Um, perfect for things like additional sound cards, RAID controllers and um, so forth. It has three M.2 ports, um, one above each of the time 16 PCIe lanes, um, which is, you know, brilliant. Um, not many boards, if any, come with three. Um, it also features six SATA 3 ports and a Turbo U.2 port as well. So it has virtually all of the storage connectivity that you will need. The SATA ports do support RAID 0, RAID 1, RAID 5 and RAID 10 as well. Um, so as you can see, it's a very, very, very um, heavy feature set board. It has front panel USB 3.1, so if, if you've got one of the latest um, premium cases that feature this, you can, you can do this with this MSI Gaming M7. Um, taking a closer look at the board itself, we have um, an 8 plus 2 power phase design, which is digital. Um, the board also supports LLC load light calibration, which is not featured on um, a lot of the latest MSI boards, but this particular board does feature it. It has um, two um, power inlets for your CPU, for your 12 volt line, so it features an 8 pin and a 4 pin as well. So if you do intend to do some pretty extreme overclocks or you're intending to you know, push it to the limits and you want maximum power delivery, then this board is obviously good for that. It has a very, very nice um, MOSFET heatsink as well as the IO shield. The board itself features MSI's um, Mystic Light RGB, um, which you can control obviously via MSI's Dragon Center or MSI's Gaming Center software. Um, the Southbridge heatsink also features it and the plating as well along the PCI lanes is also RGB as well, as well as the back plate, um, or should I say the, the rear IO of the board. So obviously on the bottom of the board, we do obviously have um, six PWM fan headers spread around the board as well as a particular header for a pump um, for water coolers out there. Um, we have four dim slots, as I mentioned with the MSI um, steel armor. We have um, onboard buttons as well, which includes a power button, a reset button and an overclock button. You can use the dial on this button to dial up to 11 for maximum overclock and performance. So you simple one touch clock, or surely one touch of the button and it overclocks your memory and your CPU as well at the same time, which is automatic overclocking. It's perfect for beginners and perfect for those who want maximum performance on good cooling. So make sure you've got a good cooler, a good air cooler or an all-in-one cooler, custom loop, whatever, um, and it will do the job. So basically, you know, Given an overall look at this board, it's obviously very premium. There's a lot of features on it. It's very, very, very heavy set on features. Um, something that MSI boards do generally feature. And as I mentioned, this is the flagship board. Um, and my leak pricing reveals it's going to be roughly between 200 and 250 pounds, which given all the features on it and all of the you know components, um, it looks like it's going to be a winner. But obviously, we need to get it tested. So... 
obviously I'm just going to go through one more thing, which is the rear I.O., the connections of the bot. So obviously your inputs for your keyboard, mouse, etc. So we have two USB 2 ports, we have two USB 3.0 ports, we have a USB 3.1 type A and a USB 3.1 type C. We also have an RJ45, which is powered by um, the killer NIC Ethernet. Um, you can obviously, you know, control it through the killer software, like sort of the bandwidth and um, monitoring your, obviously, your internet connection as well and the bandwidth incoming and outgoing as well. We have a, another USB 2.0 port as well, which acts as a BIOS flashback and it has a button for that as well. It has a PS2, PS2 port for like some game controllers old style keyboards and mice, and it has obviously your onboard audio um, 7.1, which has got three 3.5 mil jacks and a um, optical in spidef out as well. Um, obviously it's powered by Audio Boost Pro 4, um, features Intel's, well it's not Intel's, it's real, it's featured on all, most of the majority, should I say, of the boards on the Z270 platform that I've seen, the Realtek ALC1220 codec. Um, but yeah, I think it's about time that we take a look at how this board performs and then I'll give you my overall conclusion and whether or not you reckon, I reckon you should buy this board or not. Here's a quick look at the test setup so you can get acclimatised with our Intel KB Lake test setup obviously um, and then we'll see how it performs. Stay tuned for the benchmarks. <laughs> So we've benched the MSI Z270 um, Gaming M7 board, um, obviously on Intel's new KB Lake i7 7700K processor and you know I'm going to go straight into it. Is it a winning board? Yes it is. It's got massive amounts of features, it's got lots of um, you know ports like so obviously I mentioned the 3M.2 ports, the 6 SATA ports, the U.2 turbo port, um, obviously the, the steel armor on the DDR4 and the PCI E lanes is a very, very um, particular highlight. Obviously, it's RGB, which, to be honest, everything's RGB at the moment, and I'm not. Although it does offer fantastic customizability and um, great options as well if you want to color match it with your system and your components. It's, you know, it's featured everywhere, so it's not really. It's great that it's got it, but it's not exactly a high priority, in my opinion. Now, performance-wise, it's a very consistent performer. It competes with in, it competes with boards higher priced in it, no problem at all, if not beats it, which obviously is fantastic. It's got a lot going for it, a lot of features. You do get an X-Split license included with this particular board, so that's around $60 or so, that's free. Um, it's got, you know, Lightning, USB 3.1 Lightning support. Um, so if you've got devices that are capable of using that, utilizing the technology, you know, that's great, this board will give you everything you need. Um, obviously, likes of overclocking performance as well, it will, you know, be one of the top boards for enthusiast level overclocking. I wouldn't say it's going to be, you know, amazing for extreme overclocking. And the only reason I say that is, well, I say that is you've got the memory um, slots, which is good. It's got the armor on it, but, you know, moisture can get in and, um, I prefer to insulate it myself rather than use the armor. Um, see if the armor comes off. I think it may may not. It's not really a big deal. Um, this isn't a an overclocking you know focus board. This is a gaming focus board. And if you're looking for a top quality gaming motherboard, um, you're a big gamer. You want SLI, Crossfire, 
um, capabilities. Then the MSI Z270 Gaming M7 is obviously a very, 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 very desirable motherboard. Touching on my, obviously, plus points, the steel armor, which is fantastic. The board itself has a very, very nice, you know, black and grey, silvery contrast. And with the RGB lighting as well from different areas of the board, the rear I.O., the top part, the bottom part with the PCI lanes, and obviously the, the Southbridge heatsink, it looks fantastic. Um, as I mentioned, the pricing is around £150, well, £200 to £250 at launch. Um, that's I, I reckon it's rough. It, it's definitely going to be within that price range. Um, given that this board deserves our platinum award, it's it, as a you know you don't have to read the specifications just to see why. And obviously everything on it as well works flawlessly. It's got everything that you would need. It's high performance. It's got plenty of room for overclocking headroom as well. It's got a lot of power delivery. Um, the 8 plus 2 power phase delivery is absolutely phenomenal as well. And Intel have included load line calibration as well, which obviously regulates power delivery on the MOSFETs and the, you know, the caps as well, makes it a more desirable board overall. Um, does it compete with the likes of the Asus boards and other brands? Obviously, it compete, competes more so, um, and it performs absolutely brilliant. The M.2 shield is obviously very nice as well to have. So if you're in the market for one of the Intel's KB Lakes um, CPUs, and obviously you need a motherboard to go with that, then make sure you definitely check out the MSI Gaming M7 Z270. It's absolutely flawless. I can't really fault it at all. Um, it's probably one of the other only motherboards that I can't really find fault with at all. Um, as I mentioned, a lot of the boards that have come out that do feature metal armor on the PCI lanes, they generally forget the bottom lane. MSI haven't and the attention to detail obviously is a big factor for me and I you know fitness is a top quality board so I'd like to thank MSI for sending the MSI MSI thanking MSI give me a break I'd like to thank MSI for sending the gaming M7 in for review today um, please check out our other KB Lake videos they're in the bottom down below the links are in the description um, I've been Gavin for Play TV. Please leave a like. Please leave a comment. Is this the kind of board that you will buy? That you would buy? Um, would you buy any others? What What would you recommend? Let us know in the description. Please hit that subscribe button. We really appreciate it. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Check us out in our next video. And ciao for now.